Hey guys, it's Vera from Ruby Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to edit a landscape which I'm about to take with Luminar 4. on a mountain called Ochodzita in Konyakov and we're going to just take a nice landscape of this lovely wonderful winter view <laughs> inside now because it's absolutely freezing and the sun is going down and I actually found a new life hack of using a tripod as a walking stick. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back inside, back into the warmth, and we're just gonna have a look at the images. I just want to mention that we don't shoot landscapes very often, we mostly do portraits, so this is going to be an interesting test of how well I can edit one with Luminar 4. Alright, so let's open up Luminar 4. So the first thing that we are going to do is go into the canvas tool and pick the erase tool. So in the erase tool, I'm going to get rid of any spots from the sensor. You can see that our sensor is a little bit dirty. So around the sky, there are a few patches that I just want to get rid of quickly. So when that's done, we're going to go into the essential panel and we're going to pick the light panel. So in this panel, I'm going to raise the exposure a little bit because this image is slightly underexposed. I'm also going to bring down the highlights so I can bring back some of the sky and I'm going to up the shadows to bring out some of them, some more detail from the trees and the village. I'm also going to go into the advanced settings and crush the blacks just to pump up the contrast. Next I'm going to go into the AI enhance and I'm going to set AI accent to around 45. I'm also going to use the AI scan enhancer just to bring out some of that blue color in the sky. So next I'm going to go into AI structure and I'm going to set this to around 20 and what this tool basically does is analyze your image and it sharpens and adds contrast to what it thinks are in the important areas of that image. After that I'm going to go into color and remove some of that color cast. You can see that this will remove some of that blue from the snow and make it appear a little bit more white. After that I'm gonna go into the detail enhancer and enhance the small details which is basically going to add sharpness to the little details such as the trees and the little houses in the background. I'm not going to add anything to the medium details or large details because I already think the image is pretty sharp. Although this was a very dry day and the clarity was quite good, I'm still going to go into the landscape enhancer and dehaze the image a little bit just to bring out some of that horizon out. Next I'm going to go into the pro panel, advanced contrast, and I'm going to set the contrast of the midtones to around 50 and this is going to give us a nice contrast in this middle part of the image. And I think the exposure of this image looks okay now so I'm going to go into the creative panel and I'm going to go for a matte look because I think it goes quite well with wintry uh, scenes. I'm going to set this to around 40 just so that it's very delicate and doesn't overpower the image. I'm also going to add some of this dramatic effect because it increases the contrast quite nicely. And the final step is going to be going back into the essentials panel, going into color, advanced settings, and I'm just going to play around with the hue, saturation and luminance so that I can get the colors to look the way I like them. So first I'm going to change the hue of the green to a more bluish one, just so it matches more nicely with the scenery. I'm also going to change the yellow and I'm going to make the yellow a little bit more green so that the trees appear a little bit more greener rather than yellow. I'm also going to desaturate the yellows and decrease the luminance. I'm also going to go into the oranges and make them a little bit more stronger and bring them more to the orange side. And I'm also going to decrease the saturation. I'm also going to increase the luminance of the blues. And I'm also going to desaturate them a little bit because I think this shadow over here is a little bit too strong. So I'm pretty much finished with this image and here is a before and after.
And here's also a before and after of another image from this day that I also edited with Lumina 4. So overall I really enjoyed using Lumina 4 for editing landscapes. All the sliders are very intuitive, which is really good for someone who hasn't done much landscape photography. So overall Lumina 4 was a great start to landscape photography. I found that it was very intuitive and it really helps you with the editing process because the sliders tell you what they do and it makes the process a lot easier. Again, we very rarely do landscapes, we mostly do portrait photography, so as newcomers it was very easy to come into the software and just pick everything up. Everything is laid out for you and it's very simple to use. So if you would like to try Luminar 4 for yourself, you can download a free demo from the description below. And we also have a coupon code Rudy Visuals that will get you $10 off if you wish to purchase it. Anyway guys, I hope that you liked this video and that you found it useful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below and we'll answer them. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe for more. We also have an Instagram and Facebook where you can see more of our work. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Bye!